at you from the other side of the room Thinking about all the things I don't wanna do to you We have a lot to talk about. I haven't seen you since. It's been about maybe like four or five months. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, when you were on Black Plague TV, which was super dope. We had a good time. It was, we did. Yeah, and um, you've done a lot since then, right? I have. I've been working. You've been working? I've been working. What kind of work? Let us know. Uh, like, you know, shows and, you know, pumped out a new single, Excuse My Friend. Excuse My Friend. Yes. Okay. Um, I opened up for August Alsina. I opened up for Eric Bellinger. Okay. Just then, you know, a lot of little shows over the summer. And how was the experience opening up for these artists? Were they the same or what's good? What's uh, good? Not the same. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you looking over there. What do I say? Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, no, it's definitely, it definitely gave me um, a taste of show business. Mm -hmm. um, people aren't always nice. Okay. But it is what it is. You take it with a grain of salt. And mm -hmm. You know, every experience is a learning experience. And for mm -hmm. sure, for sure. You know, you've got to follow and you quickly learn that, you know, entertainment is it's a tough business it's a tough business a for really sure business. especially for an upcoming artist and new artist mm -hmm. yeah it's from hard. rhode island yeah it's yeah. really hard to get people to pay attention mm -hmm. um especially as a new artist especially coming from a place as small as rhode island mm -hmm. Um, because you have like Boston and New York are so close by, so that's where everyone's paying attention. No yeah. one's really paying attention to Rhode Island. Yeah. You know, half these people think it's Long Island, so. I know, I know, <laughs> I hate that everywhere you go. It's either, oh, Long Island, or they're like, yeah, I know Rhode Island, you you know Quahog or Quahog, or, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And like, yo, that doesn't even exist. It doesn't exist. Um, but yeah, um, we just played your, your first track. Uh, love, you better. love you better. I love that track. It's my baby. Um, that is your baby. How 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 is how's that doing? Is it like has the hype died down or are people um, still rocking with it? I mean, I'd be lying if I said it didn't die down a little bit. Mm -hmm. That might be in part to me. Yeah. Um, it's definitely a lot of promotion that needs to go in. Like you know, as an upcoming artist, yep. um, you need to promote, promote, promote. Yeah. And I definitely um, took that. I didn't, mm, I, I can't find the words, you just I didn't promote it as much as I should have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I didn't really understand how important it was to do that mm -hmm. in order to keep it hot. Yeah. But I mean, um, you know, it's, it's it's getting a little bit hotter now that Excuse My French is out. Um, okay. And it's, you know, they're out on my SoundCloud, so people see Excuse My French and they see Love You Better. So. Uh, and you got the new track, Excuse My French. Now this is all for the, the, the album or the EP or the project Psychonic, right? Yes. Um, um, give me a little, I forgot what Psychonic was about. What is it? What are we Psychonic working Psychonic is, um, it's my first, I want it to be like a full length album. Um, but you know, we kind of switched up our plans a little bit over mm -hmm. the summer, you know. Um, things change and we've just decided to, you know, pump out singles. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, mm -hmm. Psychonic is still something that I want to work towards. Just right now, um, I'm focusing more on just, you know, getting my name out there mm -hmm. and building up the hype for myself before yeah. I put something out. You know, I don't want to put something out and then put all that work into it for nobody to listen, for mm -hmm. nobody to really know about me, you know, or, or to hear about the album. Yeah. So I'm just pumping out singles. and. Okay, okay. Um, when I hear Psychonic, I'm thinking like a little bit crazy, a little bit unique, I'm a little in a your little face. Bit What's good with that? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I think I mentioned before, um, the interview I did before, Psychonic for me is, it's a cross between psychotic and iconic, um, because to be iconic, you need to be a little bit psychotic, and I'm definitely a little bit psychotic, In so it fits me. You got an In example for way. us? No. Give us an example. What happened <laughs> at work today? I know something happened. Something what happened like at that work was... today? I try to keep it low-key at work. I try to, <laughs> I try to hide my bad mood. I feel you, but it's hard when you're working retail and oh the people God, come yeah. through and they're flipping your pile all, mm -hmm. all over the place. Yeah. Uh, I'll never go back to retail. Never. <laughs> Don't. No, Once no. I leave, I will never go back to You know, to Farron retail. was retail too. Hollister. You were at Hollister. We were, I was at Hollister for a long time. Wow. She, came, she went for like you. a couple of days. I did not go for a couple of days. <laughs> you were there for like, what, a month? Two no, months. How did you work you in though? Because I walk in and I get a headache from that smell. I can't yeah, do it. Yeah, it was annoying. I was yeah, all it's about cold the life. I, was, I, thought, <laughs> I thought I was Hollister, like, all the way. You thought you were. I thought I was. I, wore the, I didn't wear the flip-flops because I don't show my feet. So I wore Vans. <laughs> can't show the feet. Vans. You could but fit their clothes? 
could I fit through clothes here? Look how small I am. I can't. Yeah, chill. So you know? <laughs> yeah, I could definitely. <laughs>